Lake Superior has ever seen. Man-made global warming isn't happening. Yet another proof. And that brings us to the dum de dum de dum de of the day. And we do have the dum de of the day. It's going to stick with the climate here. Climate activists claim that the deep freeze is due to global warming. Activists previously claimed that climate change was going to make the world hotter. No, no, it's actually going to make it cooler. It, it's not happening. There's been no warming in the last 15 to 17 years, depending on what study you read. And that is why these people get the dum de dum de dum de of the day. Despite spending years claiming that climate change would make the world hotter, not colder, climate activists are now blaming global warming for the Arctic front pounding in the U.S. As 44 states brace for snow in the coming week, multiple climate change articles have been published recently which attempt to attribute the record cold or any change in climate to that matter to global warming. An op-ed published last night, for example, suggested that the freezing temperatures throughout the U.S. are a, quote, indirect result of the world getting warmer. Keep in mind, we haven't warmed up as a planet, no matter where you live, in 15 to 17 years. Global warming could be making parts of the world colder, the author claimed, even though the phrase global warming refers to the entire world getting warmer, not just specific parts of it. The author even attributed record-level ice in Antarctica to global warming. Uh, sorry, I can't even say it properly anymore. Warming temperatures are not caused more snowfall in Antarctica, scientists believe, but could also produce more sea ice, he stated. The op-ed did not resonate well with readers. These so-called experts haven't a clue what's going on, but politicians know exactly what is happening. The greatest opportunity to control the masses, that would be you and I, ever presented, one reader, Steve no, Symp no Sympathy, commented. Never before has such an opportunity presented where the government can steal huge amounts of the, from the public by instilling fear. A similar article published by the Energy Collective, who gets today's dumdy of the day, blamed global warming for current extreme weather. Global warming is worsening, the article harked. It seems that the new reports appear with increasing frequency, emphasizing the worsening of global warming due to increased accumulation of man-made greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. They show that extreme weather or climate events already appear to be more severe and or frequent than in the past, and will continue to worsen. Of course, none of this corresponds with what the largest proponent of global warming ever, Vice President Al Gore, said in the past. Here's what Al Gore said. Science is warming us. And they're warning us that if you do not quickly reduce the global warming pollution that is trapping so much of our heat to the planet normally radiates back to the atmosphere, then we are in danger of creating a permanent carbon summer, Gore proclaimed during his Nobel lecture in 2007. Of course, not only have his predictions not come true, but I've taken up snowboarding, I do believe, since he said that. And uh, while I still suck at it, we are not in a permanent summer. He also famously predicted that the North Pole would be free of ice by 2013, but instead, and there's a link to prove this, ice sheets expanded to record levels in 2013. Going on, satellite photos of the Arctic taken by NASA in August of 2012 and August of 2013 show 60%, that's over half for you Usher fans, a 60% increase in the polar ice sheet, more than half the size of Europe, despite realistic predictions by climate scientists six years ago that the North Pole would be completely melted by now, reported CNS News. I, I do believe we still have a frigid North Pole. It did not melt. There's record ice. It's hilarious, it says, that climate activists claim that the science is settled and that global warming is real. Yet over and over again, their predictions have been proven 
patently false. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. That's the dumb D of the day, and that is Sam I.B. DeGangie signing off. Look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. You can find our work at The Correct Views. Uh, well, I'm at The Correct Views on YouTube. They are at TheMediaSpeaks.com. Please donate to the show if you can. Every penny you give me goes to rewards a better show. How? Go to The Correct Views at Hotmail.com, and I will give you all of the contact info needed. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless, and share this video.